Maryam says, is ovarian rejuvenation and freezing of eggs permissible in Islam? Now, this uh, question to me is a little bit um, tricky. I do not know what ovarian rejuvenation is. And uh, uh, most likely it is something to, to be taken, layers to be taken maybe from the uterus, which are filled with eggs so that a woman can use that after 5, 10, 15 years when she's older to uh, uh, insert this again and recreate uh, new eggs that are healthier. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. But the issue of eggs, uh, freezing the eggs, this is a frequently asked questions. And people usually ask this question because in the West, it is widely practiced. So a woman, for example, having marital uh, uh, issues with her husband, her husband is getting uh, old, maybe he's about to die, and she's young, she's thinking of conceiving, she doesn't know what to do. They uh, opt for IVF, but IVF is for now. She's thinking about five, 10 years down the line. Even IVF is an issue of dispute among scholars. Some scholars say that it's not per permissible at all. Others say it's permissible without any limitations. Some put limitations and conditions to it. Now, we have a ruling uh, uh, in Islam, one of the maxim, uh, uh, legal maxims in Islam, a fiqhi major ruling, which is al mahdhurat tubihu الضرورات تبيح المحظورات Necessities would make things that are prohibited permissible. So a person stranded in the desert doesn't have any food. He's about to die, literally die out of starvation. And he finds a dead donkey. So What's the ruling? Should he die or eat from it? No, necessity to prevent him from dying allows him to eat from that. Yet this ruling is governed by another ruling, which states something like this, that necessities are measured by its actual weight. Not every necessity is a necessity that permits Haram. And there is a certain weight to such a necessity. For example, the brother who we just talked about, who's using the first legal maxim, saying that, yeah, I'm hungry and I'm gonna, st I'm gonna die, literally. So it's permissible for me to eat from this donkey. So he makes a feast and he starts to make steak and marinates it with a certain uh, sauces and does this and that and what are you doing? I said, I have a necessity and I'm making the best of it. No, the necessity is measured by its actual weight. The actual weight is that you eat a morsel or two that would prevent you from dying and stop. Not to make the best of it and enjoy it. Likewise, it's a necessity to have car insurance. Otherwise, the government will sue you or penalize you or fine you. So you opt for the minimal accepted level, not go for premium coverage with uh, uh, lots of benefits that are uncalled for. So this is for IVF. Now, freezing the eggs would require that your aura is exposed that there is a possibility of such doctors who do not fear Allah Azza wa Jal and they know that this man is impotent or that the eggs are not worthy of, of reproduction. So they may lie and cheat just to make money and bring someone else's eggs or uh, a semen and mix them up, them up. The possibilities are there. So is this equivalent to the amount of necessity we have at hand, freezing the eggs definitely does not. And it's not permissible because there is nothing of a necessity. 
especially those who come and say, my husband died a couple of years ago and I would like to have a child. This is not permissible. He was my husband. Yes, but he's not your husband anymore. And it can, we can go on and on speaking on this, but the, in a nutshell, it's not permissible.